Many Vermont taxpayers will be facing sharp increases in school property taxes this year as districts face inflationary pressures and a loss of pandemic relief funds. In Burlington, the school budget is also being driven higher by the cost of a new high school. Catherine Huntley got an update on the construction and the tax bill voters are facing. Work underway on Burlington's new high school. The building is more than two years from being complete, but this year property taxes will start impacting Burlingtonians to reflect the beginnings of the $165 million voter approved bond the district needed to get the project started. We recently uh, saw the first kind of pouring of concrete and um, buildings are, are coming down behind us and, um, and, and the work's moving along as, as we would hope and we're really excited about the progress. The district says kids will be in the classrooms by the beginning of the 2026-2027 school year. The bill for the new school begins to hit taxpayers in full force this year, adding $9.5 million to the school budget. But that's not all. Rising costs and an adjustment in the state education funding formula called the common level of appraisal will push the overall budget to $119 million. That will leave voters facing a 14% tax increase on town meeting day. And my message is that we're doing everything we can to keep costs down. We knew this next year was going to be the big year of borrowing for the bond, and, and that's where we are now. Uh, citizens of Burlington overwhelmingly, um, and we're really grateful, uh, voted for the bond um, and approved our borrowing of so we can build this building behind us. All told, the owners of a $370,000 home, the median price in Burlington, would pay nearly $750 more next year, while the owner of a $500,000 home would pay around $1,000 more. Flanagan says the tax increase would have been even greater if Burlington had not benefited from a separate change in the education funding formula known as pupil waiting. It's a little bit complicated and complex, and it's a little bit frustrating on our side to have to um, explain this, the common level of appraisal as one of the elements of our overall school budget when that has absolutely nothing to do with school spending and our school budgeting. That might not be the only tax increase on the ballot. The mayor's office tells me they are looking into an increase in the municipal property tax rate, something that hasn't been done in five years. They say significant inflation is one of the reasons behind the potential ask for higher taxes. It is something we're considering, um, uh, not because we want to, but because if we're going to continue to let to uh, offer the same level of services and and uh, and make the investments in public safety that I think the public is, is clamoring for, continue to regrow the police department, um, we have some financial challenges in, in doing so. The mayor's office tells me that a special city council meeting is being called to discuss the future of the city budget along with a potential tax rate increase. That meeting's being set for next Monday. In Burlington, Catherine Huntley, Channel 3 News.